Hi, I'm here in this winter wonderland and I want to share three lessons with you. Three lessons that you can learn from the winter. Um, and lesson one is that there's no such thing as a bad weather or a bad season. There's just not the right clothing or the right gear. That's why I'm dressed a little warmer than normally. and. Um, that's what you also should do with your company. I mean, there are animals that go southwards to get it warmer. There are animals that are even here in the water. You don't see them because they're almost dead. But when the temperature rises, those animals come to life again. And other animals, they go into their little den and sleep through the winter. And the question is, what are you going to do when times change? When uh, the environment changes and are you adaptive enough that's actually what it is can you adapt to changing circumstances and that's an important lesson that all seasons learn us but mostly the winter because in the winter the temperatures are more extreme and yeah that it's it's dif more difficult to survive for animals and so that's why it teaches us how you can adapt to your surroundings your the circumstances so have a look at your own company and is it adaptive enough? Is it flexible enough? Um, because well, times times change and um, even now it even goes faster than, than ever. So you need a really flexible organization, flexible mindset, so you're able to to change and to adapt. And then the second lesson, and the second lesson is that um, winter is a time of going inward, retrospection, a time where you become quiet, a time to think about things, to be, uh, yeah, m to, to slow down also. And is that something you do with your your company? Because I think it's very important that it's every once in a while, and you don't have to do that in the winter, you can do that in the summer if that's better for you, but you, that you take time to to look inside, to slow down and see, okay, am I on the right track? Is this still working for me? Um, what if I really, if, am I still really connected with who I am and what I want to do in life? Um, and winter shows you that, well, that there is a, there's always a time to do that. Winter forces you to do it almost, it forces nature to go inside and to, and also to, um, to drop off your leaves, to get rid of things you don't need anymore. Uh, it's also a time of death, and death is not something that's really, uh, that's not a good thing, Or, but sometimes you need to allow death to take, to, to take something from your company, like customers you don't like anymore. They don't have to die, of course, but you can say goodbye to them. Or maybe some products or some services that you used to uh, to have, but that they don't support you anymore. So winter is a time to go inside, let go of some things that you don't like anymore and that don't support and work for you anymore, and to slow down. And then we have lesson three. And lesson three uh, is about everything that's happening that you cannot see. Because if you look around now, you'll see a lot of yeah, dead plants, snow, but underneath a lot of ha is happening, especially towards the end of the winter, you'll notice that there are more things yeah, are growing already and there's like juices flowing already and there's uh, roots growing, but you cannot see them. You cannot see them with your eyes and sometimes we say, hmm, nothing is happening. And then suddenly you see these new leaves, uh, fresh and green, and then we see, oh, now things are happening. And it's the same with, with your company, with your business. Because you are doing things, you're talking to people, you have ideas, you make a website. And, and well, a website is visible. But most of the things, you say, well, there's nothing happening. There's, uh, I cannot see any result. And you have to be patient. Because um, I always say, you cannot make gra grass grow faster by pulling on it, pulling it. So... And that's the, that's the same with, with a lot of things. You have to be patient and um, trust that underneath things are happening in the 
in the underflow or in the uh, things yeah in, in in under the ground like in, like in nature and that's what winter also uh, teaches me at least is that hmm a lot of is is happening without you seeing it so allow that to happen and allow that to um, to continue and don't get upset and don't get rushed if things don't go fast as you uh, as you like so that's lesson three and i hope you enjoyed these lessons and if you have questions or remarks please leave them in a comment and i will i will answer them okay talk to you soon